So a lot of times I ask people, visitors or guests that come through here, you know, do you have any questions? And they go, no. And because they don't know what they don't know. So I say, would you like to know how this airplane got like this and what we're doing to restore it? And they go, yeah. And what happened basically to sum up to this airplane is the tail, the tail of the airplane got ripped right off of the fuselage. It got ripped apart in the accident when it went to the bottom of the lake um, in uh, 1944, December of 1944. And uh, so what we're doing is we're putting it back together. Okay, and there's quite a lot to do with it. We didn't always have the best uh, uh, information. A lot of it got thrown away after the war. Uh, but um, so getting everything aligned and getting it all set up, we made this rotisserie to hold the airplane. And then we had the stringers, those green, light green things made. Um, and then the silver things on top, they're called the longerons on top and the bottom and then we had we made the rings we made the rings uh, they're called ribs and then we had to kind of put it all together and hold it together with something so what we have here is first of all we had to get our dimension between the front of the fuselage and the back of the fuselage set up okay so we put in what we just call a um, strut to keep it together and then we had to get it arranged so that it was perfectly in line with the front of the fuselage or the cockpit of the fuselage and how we did that oh and then we made up these wooden forms the wooden forms is kind of what holds it the ribs okay and the stringers and the longer ons kind of in place all right and then what we'll do is we'll skin it. We rivet the skin onto the fuselage itself. And the skin and the riveting actually contributes more of the strength to the fuselage than just the framing. All right, it's all, all works together, but um, there'll be five to 6,000 rivets to put all of the skin back on to the fuselage. And so what we did to get the alignment all right I'm going to step behind you for a minute, is we set up this laser, and you'll want to watch your eyes because this is hazardous to you. I put my hand over it when I turn it on so people don't get flashed. And then you'll see, you'll see the red line going across this stringer here, all the way from the tail from, to the front of the airplane. And you see that red line, it's hard to see up here, but it's, it's right there, okay? That's how we know that the two pieces are in alignment with each other and how we arrange everything to get it, uh, actually to get the shape. And then, and then we had to, like I said, we made up these wooden forms. There are different circumferences, all right? And, um, and then we screwed the ribs onto it. We positioned the stringers and the longer ons, and then we had to actually what what happened is is when we put this together, it sagged. Um, gravity had its way, and it caused it to sag in the middle. All right. So what we had to do is we had to first put stanchions underneath different parts of the airplane along the way to hold this up. And then we put these pulleys with these hangers on it to lift the bottom up. And then we have braces on the top to hold that top longer on in place. All right. <clears throat> so it takes us actually just to make up this, this piece right here, which is there's one for each side of the airplane. And you start from the back of the airplane and you skin to the front. Okay. Just to make this up took two and a half weeks. We work a couple days a week. And so there's a lot to it, to drill the holes, first of all, to make the shape and, um, and get it all set up and then to drill the holes, to trim it, to 
file it, to profile it, to contour it, and then it's got to be riveted on. So that takes about a day, two days to do. So you got about a month and a half, almost too much, just to do from here to here. So you can kind of get some perspective how long it's going to take us since we've been working on this for a little while. And then each successive panel is laid on top of the, of the bat, one behind it so that the airstream goes over the skin and there's no lips or anything to catch or to disturb the, uh, the, the uh, laminar flow of the air over the fuselage itself.